Hey everyone, Matt Saletti here on behalf of ADSR talking about the new Reactor Blocks update, Reactor Blocks 1.2. And this is a great update that's going to give you extra functionality with a bunch of new blocks that will connect to your hardware synthesizers, your, your uh, Eurorack modules, anything you like, but also gives you a few new internal modules and ensembles, if you will. Most specifically, the Machine Sequencer and the NIJI Drums. This is essentially an 808 and this is an essentially a way to use your mark II machine controller to access anything you like but specifically in this case these niji 808 emulation drums so what you want to do is install the update and then also come here to get these user ensembles these are basically um, put away inside of the user library you can download them and read the description very importantly because there are three simple instructions here on how to get this working right so let's actually come in when you download the machine sequencer there is a uh, example ensemble that i've actually just kind of thrown into my library here and it looks like this now the other important thing to note is that in order to make this work with your machine mark ii and notice i'm not saying mark one notice i'm not saying machine studio specifically the machine mark II this works with at the moment you can basically install a template to make sure this works properly so what happens is the way you would install this is you're not going to come here and open a new uh, template you're going to come to the file menu open configuration and then load in that reactor blocks machine mk2 dot ncc file that was given to you when you downloaded it and then once that's up and running, you should be good to go. Except make sure to read those instructions because step two is going to make sure you come into the audio and MIDI settings, MIDI tab, and the inputs and outputs, you must check machine mark to virtual input in order to make this work properly. Otherwise your steps won't register when you hit them in and you won't see the timeline going when you push play as such. So let's adjust the clock to go up a little higher here and we can make a new order song immediately just by hitting in a couple steps. So it's very easy to trigger different steps. Now, all the groups are the different channels. So it's basically selecting each of these different drum modules, if you will. So I can get to the snare. More cowbell, of course. Claps. hi-hats and you're off in programming now a couple cool things you can come to different patterns just by hitting these vertical buttons here so imagine doing just multiple takes and jumping back and forth between patterns right very simple now a couple interesting options within this. First of all, you can obviously come in and, and change any of the sounds. Just a few simple controls, just like there was on the 808. Now, First thing I want to talk about is different functions. So if you look at this, there's a couple ways that these are laid out. You can obviously see the different channels you're, you're accessing here. Above that, the tempo, arrow over and right, and then the enter button are different functions you could do. And these are distinct per channel. So for instance, maybe I want to change the direction of the sequence. So on the kick channel, I can select direction and choose back and forth. Now you're saying nothing is happening, it's just going forward. Well, important distinction is that by default this clock is set to reset after 16 steps. So let's set it up to 32 for instance. Now hit play. So you can see you can get some really interesting patterns just by using different directions. Of course we could do like a random generation. Notice this isn't happening for my hi-hats unless I would also set it. So 
so you can get some really interesting results. You can also mute out certain parts. And let's just focus on channel one and let's make it nice and simple, just going 16 steps. Now, there's a couple other options, these Euclidean kind of generators here between selecting the amount of steps, fills, and rotate. For instance, if I go to fill one and hit apply, it's going to give me one step. What happens if I go to fill two? It's kind of doing this smart, right? If I go to fill four, let's see what happens with my kicks. It gives you like a four on the floor. If I go to fill five, all of a sudden it's giving you different patterns, right? And you can just keep experimenting with these and changing them on the fly and you get really cool, different, interesting bass patterns. You can also rotate these patterns in different ways. So you can see just by adjusting a few knobs, you can actually get into interesting new ways to create patterns. And that's just, again, on that same pattern, you can do this with multiple different ones. So imagine in a live situation or just jamming around, you can really create a bunch of new things interesting. Now, here's an interesting aspect. So we're sitting here, I can't control any of these kicks, snares, toms, any of these simple parameters here. What if I wanted to do that? Well, what I would suggest is coming into the control editor and actually coming into pages and setting up a new page. Because this way now, I can arrow over between what is already set up for me and controlling new things via new MIDI CCs. And we can add as many pages as we like. Maybe you want one for each individual drum thing. For instance, we could call this kick, right? And you can label it. And once it's in here, you can go ahead and just start MIDI learning things like MIDI learn the tune, right? Now that's all well and good, but you definitely want to come in also and then call it what it is, right? So now we'll know. And you can basically just do this for each one. And the different pages are all assigned. You can assign them in different MIDI CCs by just coming in and uh, assigning the number as such. So that's one way you want to get in. You want to customize it, maybe save your own ensemble with all the controls mapped out and then go to town having fun sequencing all this stuff and enjoy.